Hello, my beautiful people from Otoshebo Mama. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Please do not forget to subscribe and press the notification button. Thank you. One love. Bye bye. The heart of giving. We are the real people of God. So thank you so much for joining in on our platform. I remember your brother, your friend, your Nusagi, the man after God's heart. Diamond, Diamond, thank you so much. Dennis, I see you over there. Listen, man, the best way to serve God is to be a giver. The best way to serve God is to be a giver. Not necessary. I have said it so many times that you do not have to go to church. You do not have to wake up on a Sunday morning rushing to get to church for God to hear your prayer. And coronavirus have, uh, have vindicated me that what I am saying is true. All believers around the world right now, they are in their homes, worshiping God online. You understand? So we really, really have to learn that being a Christian has to do has a lot to do with being a helper, being a giver. And for those of you who have continued to give over the years, I want to say thank you. I want to encourage you to continue. I want to encourage you that uh, to do more. You know, your your place in heaven is already secured. Your place in heaven is already secured. So thank you so much, guys. And today, we are going to discuss briefly about, uh, about uh, the heart of a man. The heart of a man is definitely wicked. All right, so if you have your Bible with you, you just need to pull out to Jeremiah 17, verse 9. If you have your Bible with you, Yes, you can call me that Cynthia Cynthia, yeah, Apostle Chief Ambassador Dion Osagi. Yes, of course, of course. You know, a lot of person have a misunderstanding about religion, about titles and all that. You know, being a pastor in Nigeria or being an apostle or being a bishop in Nigeria is more of about calling. Who called you? They say, Well, I'm called by God. God called everybody, man. God has called every one of us. God has called you. God has called me. God has called my mother. God has called my wife. God has called everybody. You are called to be a helper in this world. God has called every one of us. Only in Nigeria, pastor is a pastoral work is a full time job or a full time call. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Being a pastor does it mean does not mean that God has to call you. Being a pastor is like being an engineer, being a doctor, all right? Being a pastor is a job, a job for you to go out there to win more souls to God. When you go to countries like America, you see that people go to pastoral schools. Just like people go to school to become accountant, people go to school to become a nurse, people go to school to become an engineer. It's the same thing. You can go to school and become a pastor. You can go to school to become a bishop. The idea is going to school to give out God's words. Pastors are paid salaries in foreign countries. Only in Nigeria or in Africa is the places where you see a pastor who call himself. You will call yourself say, yeah, God called me. I can wake up tomorrow and tell you that God called me to be a pastor. No, but that's a wrong philosophy. All right? It's a wrong philosophy for anybody to just come. Oh, God called me to be a pastor. Who called? How? When did, when did God call you? How did God call you? All right? So anyone can be used by God. Anyone can be a pastor. Anyone can be a prophet. Anyone can be a bishop. You understand? It is just you practicing what the Bible has said. Makes you a pastor. Makes you a bishop. And makes, makes you an apostle. But in Nigeria, we have a very, very wrong notion of religion. I saw on social media this morning that... A, a, a prophet or was he a pastor who said that they can resurrect the late uh, what's his name CSO Abakari that they can resurrect him. This would be a good time to test religion in Nigeria, whereby you will take some pastors to all those coronavirus victims. Let's see how they are going to heal them. We watch on social media the other ugly guy. What's his name? Is it, is it Chris? The other ugly guy with the half past one, the young pastor who did the magic, the lady that has a disorder in, his, in her hand. You know, I watch on, on social media, the hands are like this. Hallelujah! You know, it's so funny, man. When I see so many people being tricked over religion, your heart is your religion. 
your heart is your true religion. If you have a good heart, I mean, you are going to go places. And that's the way it is. Nobody can stop that. If you have a good heart and somebody is against you, they are going to confess. They are going to fight themselves. The evidence are there. Do you understand? You have a good heart. You cannot fight me and go free. You cannot talk nasty against me and go free. It's not going to happen, man. I have noticed one thing. The more people hate me, the more we succeed, the more we excel. Over the years, those persons who have been against our good work, those persons who have done everything possible to make us look bad, where are they today? Where are they? They are nowhere to be found. They are still in the same place where they were at two, three years ago. You cannot continue to pull others down and be wanting yourself to go up. It's never going to happen. All right? It is not going to happen. Let's continue to encourage each other. Let's continue to be each other's keeper. All right, so the book of Jeremiah, turn on to your Bible. Turn on to your Bible. All right, turn on to your Bible, the book of Jeremiah. I'm going to teach you guys a little bit today. The book of Jeremiah, 17 verse 9. If you are there, let me know. The book of Jeremiah, 17 verse 9. If you are there, let me know. All right. Alright, so the book of Jeremiah, you are there? Okay, past, past one pastor. Okay, you know the past one pastor I'm talking about? The one that healed uh, the sick lady. The lady, our, our hand was like this. So, like five pastors healed the same lady, man. And you can imagine, after the revelation, people still go to such churches. After a pastor have been proven that the miracle they performed was fake, people still go to such church. That is, that, that is to show that Religion has been, has been, our people has been brainwashed. I can a pastor, five different pastors perform the same miracle. A woman that, you know, they have different kind of disorder. Uh, disorder. This woman has, a, she has a hand like this. Praise the Lord. Oh my God. You see people speaking in tongues. Oh, me say I can speak in tongues. Eh? Oh, robo, 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 robo. I can use your name to speak in song. Oh, when, oh, when, oh, when, oh, when. May they leave us. May they all this. May they all this come Nigeria. You see, religion is one of the biggest uh, problems we have in Nigeria. Religion is one of the biggest, biggest problem in Nigeria. You know, in times like this, when people cannot go to church, when people have as do not have access to food, will it be wrong if winners redeems Church of God missions, uh, Christ choosing all these big churches? Will it be wrong if they give aid to their members, the members of their church? Will it be wrong if churches now come together? You know what? They receive billions every Sunday, man. Offerings in tight. Would it be wrong if this time is used to give back to churches? Church, give to your members. But they are not doing that. Hmm? Politics, religion, big problem in Nigeria. And we're going to continue to speak about it until they do the right thing. We are going to continue to speak about fake pastors, fake politicians, until they do something about it. Alright? So, Jeremiah 9... Uh, 1790 heart can somebody read for me yeah call it up I see you over there I'm an apostle man an apostle of God if you google apostle if you google the meaning of an apostle if you google the meaning of pastor if you google the meaning of bishop you see that I'm all that man I am all that and I'm not gonna let anyone take that away from me I am an apostle I am a bishop I am a pastor I'm an ambassador I am a chief I am everything you know, the heart of the, the, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Hide the Lord, search the heart, test the mind, even to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his doings. I repeat, Jeremiah 9, 17 verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. 
Who can know it? Hi, the Lord, search the heart, test the mind, even to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his doings. All right. Basically, this uh, verse of the Bible is talking about the heart of men are weak and yes, the heart of men are desperately wicked. Sometimes, those wicked people are the people closest to us. The heart of a wicked person can be the person you are giving so much love to. The heart of a wicked person can be your own brother or your own sister. One of our members at the God's Self Foundation told me a story how the brother, our own brother, our own younger brother, made plans to, to kidnap her. One of our member told me a story of how our own younger brother made plans to kidnap her. One of my members told me a story of how she wanted a little token from her own brother that she has given so much hate to, but they refuse. I want you to know that the person closer to you may be the person that is wanting your downfall. So you have to be careful. You have to think. Never put all your head, all your eggs in one basket. Of course, Monday. Yes, Monday, you are right. Never put all your eggs in one basket. Always put some egg and leave some egg out. The only way you can be disappointed in life is when you put all your eggs in one basket and at the end of the day, you have nothing left to lean on. I want to let you know that the heart of a man is desperately wicked. And God will be the one to judge every man according to his doings. That's the only way to make heaven. The only way to make heaven is your doings. Your doings. That is how God is going to judge you. Have a heart of sympathy, a heart of forgiveness, a heart of love, a heart of togetherness. I think this is what we need as people to move forward. If you continue to wish the downfall for your brother, you are going to go down. If you continue to look for ways to uplift your brothers, you are going to go up. So let's continue to encourage each, each, and our, each other. Let's continue to be a good support system. Stop trying to bring others down because what you do today will definitely affect your tomorrow. If it doesn't affect you, it will affect your children. Karma is real. What you sow is what you reap. So God sent family around the world. I want to encourage you to be a good role model be a good ambassador in your community, be a good ambassador to your people, do your best and always believe that God will search your heart and reward you. Alright, so that's my little word for you this evening. Alright, I remember your brother, your friend, Dion Osage. Alright, so right now in Benin City, uh, tomorrow we're going to be at the Godsend Foundation office where we plan to give aid to so many families. I want you to partner with us, whatever you can do. To support the needy in the community we really think that a lot of persons need a lot of hate and we are not doing enough you must learn that everything we own is vanity upon vanity you could have billions in your account your neighbor is suffering you have not one day left your place to check on your neighbor these are all big failure we all should learn that we are all passing through all right life is a, is a, is, life is a visiting place, right? We all are passing through. At the end of the day, we are all going to go with all our suffering or all our wet. You know, it's, it's going to be left behind. But the impact you make, the people you rescue, the people you give aids back to, will determine where your place will be in heaven. So it's not about going to church every Sunday, singing Hosanna, Hosanna, Hallelujah, speaking in tongue that defines your place in heaven. You could be a frequent goer of church and still be a very wicked person. Matter of fact, in today's world, more bad people go to church. Very, very bad people are in church. 
You understand? So let's look beyond going to church to give it out. I've seen people who don't go to church but show so much love in the community. You know, people around them. This is a good time to test your love. This is a good time to test the kind of person you are. If you go to your villages, you see that there are many persons out there who do not even have access to food as we speak. You understand? So please guys, I want to say a big thank you to Meritesi who sponsored our free kitchen yesterday. That is an act of kindness, an act of Christianity, man. On our birthday, Meritesi called me up to say, you know what? I would like to cook for a hundred persons. That's beautiful. Do you know that to cook for a hundred persons is less than 200 uh, euro or 200 dollars? With 60,000 naira, you can cook for a hundred persons and they really need the food. A lot of persons cannot feed their family. All right? So I was uh, resting up today. I received a message from an unknown person. She has been messaging me since Friday. Our Friday message was like, good evening, sir. So I called you this afternoon in regard to my husband, Hospital B, and I'm asking for help. Her name is Victoria, okay? I did not respond, obviously, because I received so many of these messages. All right, she messaged me again yesterday. Good morning, sir. Please, I am begging you. I cannot breathe fine again. And I'm full with toxic on my body. I cannot sleep at night. You know, a lot of persons need our support, guys. A lot of persons need our support. I am challenging you to do your part. It doesn't matter how little. 5,000 Naira can mean so much to so many families. I always use this uh, analysis. If you go around the city, the average income of a mother is just 1,000 Naira a day. Most women out here earn just 1,000 Naira a day to survive till the next day. And now we are in a situation whereby many of them cannot earn that much because most of us are at home. How do you think they are going to survive? How do you think they are going to live? So let's search our hearts, do your part in your community, see what you can do, partner with us. I want to say a big thank you to Nigerian committee of friends in uh, Spain, Canary, Spain, who are partnering with us. By next week, we are going to be giving out some food to so many families. Um, all you guys partnering with us, I want to say thank you to you. Continue to support the brand. Uh, of course, I am not perfect. But I'm doing my best to be a helping hand to the community, all right? Even with the hardship, we, are, we continue to push with the hope that God will send us some persons with a greater influence. And that's the dream. We want God to send us a person with a greater influence so that we can help our people. A lot of persons have so much resources, they don't even know what to do with it. A lot of us have so much resources that we don't know what to do with it. What you should be doing is giving back. Give back a little. Help some people, man. Alright? So that's it. Cynthia, Cynthia, I see you over there. Monday. Monday. On uh, Monday, we, don't, we are not going to discuss that. I think those persons are... Those persons you mentioned there, which I would not like to mention their name. Those persons you mentioned there, I think they lack uh, home training. Alright? One thing we should never do is that... Stop looking at other people's anus when yours is wide open. You cannot continue to mock people. You mock them in their marriages. You mock them in their work. You do everything to bring them down and expect God to be blessing you. It cannot happen. It cannot happen, man. But when you encourage people, when, you, when you're kind to people, God will certainly bless you. You understand? I just came back from one of our friends' uh, residence, one of our God sent member, Favor. You know, we're so happy to see me, you know. So God will always bless each and every one of you who continue to support us. Sister Yobosa, I see you over there. God bless you. Audrey in Ireland. What's up, Audrey? Audrey in Ireland, thank you so much for your support. My regards to you and your family. I love you guys so much. All right? So continue to support God's Saint Foundation. Tomorrow we're going to be live at 11. We have about 20 cases. 20 cases waiting for us tomorrow. We are going to do our best to solve as many as we can. You know, many of these cases are not a big deal. Some just need about 10,000, some need 15,000 to solve a major problem. Can you imagine that with uh, some persons, you have, you have seen our cases, I don't know start explaining to you. Many of you on here are very, very active followers of our work. So I don't need to start explaining to you the problems. You already know the problems. And I also know that things are not so easy for many of our partners. But believe me, if you are living in Europe, 
if you are living in Canada, if you are living in America, things are so much better now. All right, in Canada, if you are a resident in Canada, right now you get two thousand dollars, two thousand Canadian dollars is almost six hundred thousand naira every month. Two thousand Canadian dollar is almost uh, six uh, six hundred thousand. America, you receive one thousand two hundred dollars, which is almost five hundred thousand naira. You understand? So. Even at this situation, when we know that things are not so good for our partners, but please, always remember that there are people out here who cannot even receive a dime, who do not have nothing to eat today, alright? So I want to bless you all that uh, every good thing that we sow, we shall receive, alright? Every good plan we have this year, we must achieve it, alright? Wherever they are calling our name, in darkness, in Babalawo, wherever they are, they shall definitely gather, but they must scatter, all right? So that's my message for you this evening. Be sure for you to join me tomorrow at the God Sent Foundation. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your time. God bless you. All right? Bye-bye. I greet you guys. One love. Thank you. Okay, let's read some comments. Iyobosa, thank you for the good job you are doing in those state. Thank you so much. Odabo Iyobosa, thank you so much. God bless you. Uwaila. I see you. Thank you so much. God bless you all for all the love. You guys have so much love for me. You guys have so much prayers for me. There are more people praying for me every day that I don't know. And this is a fact. So thank you so much for all the good things you guys are doing for the world to be a better place. I so much appreciate it. And I believe that together we will make a difference. All right. My phone number remains the same. 0705-1938-417 is my phone number. You can reach me for anything that you want to discuss. If I don't reply to you on time, please don't get angry. Uh, it's best to reach me on WhatsApp. Best to reach me on WhatsApp. Once again, 0705-1938-417. I love you guys. Together, we will make a difference. Bye. Bye.